this is Welcome Hop and All Little Oregon. I'm here with Joey from Saving Ocean Life and I've been dying to meet her for so long and we're finally together. And I'm gonna interview her. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well and so we're gonna start the interview now. I have to go back and forth from my phone because I have to, you know, make sure that I can save it so I can type it over there. These chairs are great, they make lots of noise. So let's get ready. Alright. Who do you want to thank for motivating you to get to where you are now? I really want to thank my mom and my dad because ever since I started they were the people that really pushed me to my limits telling me um, they encouraged me mm -hmm. and allowed me to be like make soul what it is today and they've helped me with uh, my mission statement advertising pretty much everything okay cool so how's that mm -hmm. Let me head back. Just have a, like 20 of those. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How do you feel inside when you see people litter or throw cigarette butts out their window to the ground? I hate to say it, but I sort of want to kill them <laughs> <laughs> because it's terrible. Like, even though you might think, oh, I'm just throwing this out the window, it's going to end up in some body of water. Yeah. There's no way to stop that um, unless you go and take it like off the street or do something about it so it really like hurts me and like stop no yeah okay <laughs> that's a great ending by the way <laughs> stop no <laughs> all right what certain situation has helped you realize that this is what you wanted to do with your life um well one certain situation was when i was just um, at the beach one day with my parents and some of my friends and I was walking and I saw a fishing net and I saw cigarette butts like probably five of them all in one area maybe even more and it really upset me because I was like this is where I've grown up my whole life Florida is where I was born and where I was raised and it's sort of like why why are these people ruining it for me and for everyone um, and I want the oceans to be there for the future because that's like my ho that's my second home I love the ocean and so it really just got me thinking what can I do to help and so that's why I started soul mostly you're so cute I'm sorry <laughs> okay how do people who know about your organization treat you at school because I know uh, people who know about Hope and All Litter um, they're not the nicest they uh, a lot of my friends support me, but people who like know me think it's kind of like a joke and they'll throw stuff in front of like they'll throw things away right in, like to the floor right in front of me. So how do people treat you at school? Honestly, people really don't care. They really don't care. Yeah, they really don't care. Like some of my my good friends, they mm -hmm. come to my events, some of them go, "Oh, I can't wake up early enough." Me. But um but most kids know about it because I've advertised it, I've put flyers up, I've told mm -hmm. kids about it. But most of them don't really care. They don't tease me about it, they don't joke about it, just don't really talk to me. <laughs> Doesn't matter, but okay. to them. <laughs> I mean, people talk to me, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm not a loner, I promise. All right. Um, do you plan on doing this for the rest of your life? Where do you see yourself in the next few years? Well, Whether it's with Saving Ocean Life or... Well, yeah. I hope that it continues throughout mm -hmm. um, the rest of my life. But when I'm older, I do want to become a marine, a marine biologist. That's one goal for me. It just, it just sounds like really fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to keep soul going and I want to... My goal really is I want to have so, so many people we can't fit in the area. <laughs> so that's what I'm hoping for the future. Okay. Was there an experience that uh, blah, blah, blah. okay? Mm. Was there an experience that you ever had that made you want to quit? What kept you from doing that? Because you're obviously still here yeah. today. Um. So there was one event that I that um so had, mm -hmm. and only like 20 people showed up. And don't get me wrong, that's like a good amount of people, but for compared, compared to, to my last events, it was like no, it was nobody. Mm -hmm. Um. And so I was like. Do people even care anymore? Should I keep doing this? Because is it ever going to like grow to be larger? And so it sort of got me thinking like, does it do like, should I keep it going? Or mm -hmm. should I just abandon the idea of soul? And then I thought, but the thing is, these 20 people here, they do care. 
and so at least these people care and 10 people can really pick up just as much trash as 100 people if they try so that's why I kept it mostly yeah okay <laughs> how does it feel wait how does it feel for your mission to have such a great effect on other children's lives it feels great I mean today I actually have a meeting with a girl who wants to start a soul chapter at her school Aww. so it's just great and I mean at our last event we had 50 kids and 50 adults just from one school mm -hmm. and so I feel like I'm making a big impact on their lives and this one kid goes up to my mom and is like I'm on a mission to find trash <laughs> and so, so it's just really cute and it was like they don't r really know how much they're helping but they really are helping a lot okay why did you choose to focus on the ocean instead of the land well the ocean for me like I said before is really a big part of my life mm -hmm. I'm a water baby mm -hmm. I mean when I was little jumping in puddles was my favorite thing <laughs> so I thought like that's what I want to help with I want those oceans to be there for hopefully my kids and um, my cousins kids or whoever like they need to be there for the future because they're such a big part of who I am and who I like they've made me who I am so I just they need to be there okay how do you get your volunteers to help with your cleanups um well we have a lot of different like events that cater to different people so um if for example kids they like the trash treasure hunt because mm -hmm. it's a fun activity that they get to participate in and they don't really have to sit through a lecture mm -hmm. but then the adults are most of them like to learn about the problems yeah and so they get to learn about manatees or turtles and they enjoy that so that's like basically that, that. Yeah. okay has your family been supportive of your mission and how has that helped or harmed you well like I said before mm -hmm. they really yeah. have helped me um, they my dad's helped me from the start make um, different like brochures and stuff like that and my mom's helped me with all the advertising on Facebook and um, Instagram and the flyers so that's helped me a lot they haven't really harmed me because they've helped they've never done anything to hurt the organization and I hope they wouldn't okay and you mentioned before a trash treasure hunt can you tell me more about that yeah sure so the trash treasure hunt was basically we had a first second and third place um, winners and those kids, so there was like different colored shells as well that we put all over the beach. And the kids, they had to find certain pieces of trash and put it in one bag. And then they also had to, in order to win, they had to fill an entire bag of trash up. And um, if they found a shell, they got a little prize. So it was a lot of fun for the kids because they're all rushing, trying to get as much trash as they could. And at the end of the day, we got hundreds of bags of trash just because these kids are trying to win the prizes. But um, that's sort of like, you know, beside the point that they really were helping. And at the end, we had our three winners and it was a food from different countries. Yeah, you're not finding like, yeah. Japanese food. Yeah, so. Okay. What message do you want to send to other children who want to start a nonprofit? Really, just start the pro nonprofit. Like, don't second guess yourself because if you do, some those what ifs or what if this happens, like all those what ifs, they're gonna start coming to you, and you're gonna be like, now I don't really want to do this anymore. But you just have to get it started because once you do, it's most likely gonna thrive. And if it doesn't, you start it over again, mm -hmm. or go help out with another organization and partner with them. So you really just have to go for it. Like, don't guess anything. Okay, how did you start Saving Ocean Life? Um, so one night I was watching Disney Channel. It's a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> and I was watching Disney Channel. And I don't know if like, you ever saw this. They had like these little segments on like the people. You don't even have to like I yeah. know exactly what you're talking about. They had like those little segments on like what people are doing and it was all about kids. I was like, that sounds pretty cool. And so I was like, but if I want to do that, what do what like what should I help out with? And so then I go, ocean, beach, water, oh well, there we go. There's <laughs> an idea. 
because I saw um, a newspaper article that morning mm -hmm. that my dad showed me um, about something with like the ocean and the turtles being harmed or like this turtle was found with a six pack ring on it and I was like there's something I can help out with and so I told my parents they thought I was crazy at first but then they're like oh you're not joking mm -hmm. and so we actually got it started from there okay what do you consider is your greatest strength probably all of our connections because okay. for example health and all litter mm -hmm. is helping us mm -hmm. and um, like we just had an event where a kayak company helped us and like turtle the carpenter house on Hollywood Beach mm -hmm. and um, just every place is like starting to see what we're doing and it's really helped us grow and get like better um, presentations and places to host the events and so we've gotten a lot more people because of that. Okay. What's your next big step with Saving Ocean Life? That's a hard one. They can hear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we wanted to get a website because people keep on asking us, but that's not like a really big step. Mm -hmm. But we're hoping we can, like, I want, I don't know if this is technically a step, but like. Like any plans that you, you have Well, I want to get a lot of people, like, mm -hmm. at like I want to go to the next hundred, two hundred people. Okay. That's like my next goal, um, because the more people that help out, the more trash we can collect, and the really fun event. That was probably the biggest event we've had. Okay. That was my first big event. Okay. How did you come up with the name Saving Ocean Life? So when I first started the organization, my mom and I were trying to come up with a bunch of ideas, and one morning she comes in and she goes. Joey, I have an idea. <laughs> and I was like, what's the idea? She goes, soul. I said, sun. And she goes, <laughs> sun? <laughs> I go, that has nothing to do with the oceans. She goes, no, it stands for saving ocean life. I go, that's great. And so then from there on, I created the logo, and then we got bigger and bigger, and created the Facebook page. Okay. All that. Uh, I asked you, and this already, we kind of touched upon it, but uh, tell me about the biggest cleanup you've had so far and why was it great? Just kinda Yeah, the trash that. treasure hunt, mm -hmm. because that was the first biggest event. Um, we probably got like 120 people, wow. and so it was really amazing because it was like in the middle of the beach. We had it um, with Margaritaville, we partnered mm -hmm. with them, and it was just like filled, we filled up this one whole space and it was just so cool like people were just like watching us like what the heck is this <laughs> and then like people were like questioning us like what is this organization and so we got a lot of people and that was amazing that was basically what was like I need to keep this going this mm -hmm. is the this is like the organization that I'm gonna make grow as like gr make it grow as big as I can okay how has soul affected your personal and social so social life well it really hasn't Really has to be honest. I mean, sometimes I get a little mad at my friends because they tell me we're gonna go, we're going this time, and then they can't go for some stupid reason mm -hmm. that's like, like something that doesn't even something, matter. Yeah, irrelevant. Yeah, and then um, another example is my friends go say we can't go, mm -hmm. and then one hour after the cleanup starts, they're posting stuff on their Snapchat or Instagram. And it's just like. You totally could have come. <laughs> Why aren't you here? And I get it can be boring, but first of all, it gives you community service hours. Yeah. And second of all, you're helping out, and you're basically helping to, I mean, it's not going to solve the issue, but helping to, quote unquote, solve the issue. <laughs> okay. I know that a lot of trash found in the ocean is from other countries. Have you found that to be the case in your cleanups? Actually, not really. Not really? Um, but when the, after the hurricanes, we had <laughs> a cleanup. <laughs> and um, we were, my friends and I, we were like picking up 50, 100 pound pieces of wood from the from like Puerto Rico and different mm -hmm. islands um, that got hit by the hurricane. So we we're finding that, but that doesn't really count as like yeah. trash, trash. I mean, people eat the more we can do to help. Mm -hmm. And um, along with that, I just want to make it like the organization bigger. Mm -hmm. um, so it's more well known. And so, yeah, that's basically what I want to do. Okay. Um, other than working on saving ocean life, what do you enjoy to do for fun? 
Um, I like to jump because I'm a drummer. I thought you said jump. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what? I love to jump. <laughs> so you uh, like to drum? Yeah, um, I like to hang out at the beach or with my friends and enjoy it. But of course, I see something and it ruins the whole thing. I try to enjoy it. I see like a bottle cap. I'm like, oh, I need to go throw that out. Then I see a plastic bag. I need to go throw that out. So, but that's besides the point. <laughs> and um, it never stops. Yeah, and so also just like. I don't really know, just hanging out, doing everything. <laughs> okay, and this one uh, wasn't really anything, like I just added this, but what do you think about combining our forces and working together? Like, 100%. 100%? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool, that one wasn't really for the interview, but I just like, <laughs> I just wanted to, you know. Okay, let me stop this now. This is 15 minutes long. I get to listen to that during class. Yeah, I know, how fun. Okay, I'm done, let me save it. So I'm gonna jump in here on something. People hearing this behind the scenes, I'm Rick with SeeMyBeach.com. I'm recording this, and uh, anyway, you guys are both inspiring to everybody. You know, it's pretty amazing to see you guys. She's hilarious, isn't she? Yeah, she's so cute. She, I love she, her. She is. I was trying to tell Isabella how cute she was, and uh, you're gonna be great for everything. Um, so anyway, See My Beach is gonna help as much as we can to help both of you guys. Okay. Thank and, you. Uh, and our in our small way, which Isabella's been with us since she was 11. Mm -hmm. And how old are you, Jordan? 13. 13. 13? Okay. That's yeah. what I figured. I've, I've been saying you were 12 because that's when I first read about you. But yeah, I met you when I was 12. Let me exactly. Did you write a note of that? Because I thought you were 12. Let me write a note. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we're gonna I get off the it. camera now. So say bye to everybody. Thank you. Bye for being guys. Part of you guys are inspiring to adults and old people like me. So it's great to see <laughs> you guys doing good things for the world. Okay. Thank You're doing you. wonderful things, and I yeah. can't wait for us to start working together. I didn't really give much input, but I want it. We'll okay. get it from you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it eventually. It's gonna, the camera's going to fall. Okay. All right, take care, guys. Bye All from right. TMIBeach.com.